Hey guys, Holy Blade here. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys a quick update slash tutorial on my progress as a priest and where how come I haven't been posting any videos and a tutorial on Mindsnapper EX. So yeah. So first let's we'll start with the update. So yeah, I was I was planning on making a video when Collies were released so I could get some Collie matchups. But I realized two things. One, priests were glitched, as in first aid. Uh, in Dragonus NA only, first aid procced, and instead of giving you a 10% damage reduction for 10 seconds, it gave you an 80% damage reduction for the whole match. Second thing, I really don't like Kali's, so you won't be seeing any unless I'm, like, forced to. Anyway, yeah, so then I thought it would be fixed when we got T4 HP, but it, it, it wasn't. It wasn't fixed, so I was pretty mad, and I wasn't able to PvP seriously until the start of this cap where I got to 60 pretty fast, and I just decided to go on a PvP marathon. Okay, so Mind Snapper EX. This is what the skill looks like. As you can see, it's a, it's like a planet. <laughs> it's like a planet, which is really nice. And some of the mechanic changes are now, it will almost always electrocute. See? So that's another skill in our, ar our, ar our arsenal that electrocutes. So that's nice. So yeah, basically, Mind Sniper EX it allow it opens up a lot of possibilities. Like now we have another uh, entrance to use Grand Cross instead of just using Parable. We have another entrance for Grand Cross, which is nice. We have we have time stalling for combos. So we have stall moves. It's like a it's like a cyclone swing, pretty much. It's really nice. Uh, yeah. So the SA break on Mind Snapper EX is still the same. The SA on Mind Snapper EX is still the same. It still get it still gets canceled quite a lot, and it doesn't break a lot of super armor. But when it does, oh, it's deadly. Like it's really nice. So aside from the always electrocution, or yeah, the always electrocute and the bigger ball. It also adds extra damage. Like if you watch, here's a normal detonate. That 2.3k. And if I hit him with the mind snapper before I use detonate, it's 2.7k. So there's that, which is extremely useful in PvP. Like no joke. Mind Snapper EX. It opens up. I already said that, but yeah, yeah. I'm doing this recording live, so I've never done this before. So it's it's really good. You can use it off skills like Punch on Divine Combo. Keep them on the ground. Keep in mind when they get up in the middle of a Mind Snapper EX, they won't be able to get out. They won't be able to get out because it traps them. You can't walk out of it like you can on a Mind Snapper. So that's really great. And remember, you can you can pretty much do a Mind Snapper off of almost anything. Off a Shield Blow. Off a Struck by Lightning. And it's just, it's just so beautiful to look at, you know, I just, I love it. Okay, another thing with Mind Snapper EX. Even though this happens, it doesn't go through the wall, like Mind Snapper. It still functions just like normal Mind Snapper. Like, if you look, only the first two hits will connect. The rest don't count. The rest are gone. So the animation is still there. But the skill is not, which is it's pretty trippy. It's good for defensive use, like if you're really far, if someone's coming towards you and you accidentally mind snapper into a wall, if you just stay in the mind snapper, they'll think it's active and they won't come near you. So that's really nice. So overall, I think mind snapper is a great utility skill. I have not had the chance to max it and see what kind of damage it does, and I don't think I ever will because that's stupid. 
And yeah, I think it's a great utility skill. I think it's going to help out a lot of these PvP Inquisitors. And I think it's going to definitely help me out because I've started using Mind Snapper so much more. Okay, on with the next EX skill, which... Oh, that was Raid Call, sorry. The next EX skill, which is Chain Lightning EX. So Chain Lightning EX, as you can see, literally does nothing except it adds... It, it has a chance to add more hits and it adds some damage. I put I left my chain lightning at level one because I use it more as a utility than a damage. So that's pretty much all it does. It does not really change the mechanics at all. So Yeah, so it doesn't really change any of the mechanics. It just it just adds that little bolt on top. If you're wondering if it, if it because that's what I thought when I first saw it. If it, if it slammed down enemies, it doesn't. You can still hover with enemies, which is nice. But yeah, don't get... If you're an Inquisitor and you're about to hit 60, do not get Chain Lightning EX. With Chain Lightning Normal, with a normal Chain Lightning, you're able to cancel it with a sliding step because of the new um, because of the new update. But with Chain Lightning EX, you, you, can't, you can't cancel it, which is pretty bad. I did not know this. Well, I did know this because her addict told me, but I didn't listen. And I got it anyway, because it looked cool. But now I'm regretting it. So yeah, don't do that. Yeah, so I think at max, at level 11, Chain Lightning EX will be hitting 1.2 to 1.5k in PvP. Which is a, it's a nice source of damage. But as an Inquisitor, or as it's me anyway, I have a better source of damage right here. It's Grand Cross. It's fucking overpowered. I love it. So yeah, there's that. Alright, thanks for watching. Um... I will be posting more videos soon, hopefully, when the lag dies down. Level 60 matches. Um, so yeah, just leave in the comments what, what fights or what classes you want to see me fight. And I will post some matches. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, Dragoness rocks. Priest rocks.